Zach is with us in Maine. Hi, Zach. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. Hi, Dave. How are you? Better than I deserve. What's up? So I'm graduating and getting married in May. And Yay! I'm working on combining my finances with my fiance. Mm -hmm. So we don't have any credit card debt or anything, but combined we have $382,000 in student loan debt. Good Lord. Yeah, and um, I'm graduating with my degree in chemical engineering, and That's I have a job lined up. What are you going to make? Uh, she has one more year for pharmacy school. And what are you going to be making? About 70. Really? A chemical yeah. engineering degree? Okay. Well, yes, I'm in Maine, it's, it's not super high. And I'm also working in a manufacturing plant, not using the chemical engineering degree exactly. Oh, okay. Well, the chemical engineering degree is probably worth more than that. That's something you need to consider if you spend all this money to get a chemical engineering degree. But uh, mm -hmm. so you're going to make seventy, and she's going to make a hundred to hundred and twenty, depending on where she works when she gets out. Something like that. Yeah. So you're going to yeah. make two hundred, and you're used to living on nothing because you were both college students. Yeah. So live on nothing, and take two hundred thousand a year and throw it at four hundred thousand. Yeah. Like no life. That's, that's Nothing. That's tough. No, it's not tough. You're used to living on nothing. You're a college freaking student. You don't have a life. Just continue you to have no life. To get out and I know you want to get out, but you went four hundred thousand dollars in debt, dude. Yeah. 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 We just realized that we did something wrong, and I mean, it's it's unfortunate that you know we made this decision. We want to get out. We want to do the right thing, and we're going to do it. And I'm just yeah having a hard time seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Well, the good news is, is you do have an analytical mind, or you would not have completed this degree. And yeah. so you have just not applied it to this subject yet, this subject of personal finance. And when you apply it mm -hmm. to this, it's a fairly primitive set of mathematics. It is how much can I pay on the debt divided into 400? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So 100 is four years, which is absurd that you would spend $100,000 on lifestyle after you've been a broke college student. So I wouldn't take four years. Absolutely. I think you ought to be out of debt in between two and three years and have absolutely no life. Now, that's from the time that she gets out, passes her bars, and becomes a pharmacist. Yes. And the good news is, by the way, as a pharmacist, you get the regular job, and then you work the weekends at the ER. Because mm -hmm. they'll pay her pharmacy pharmacist rates to work weekends at the ER. And this is what you do when you are broke people. You work like crazy, and you are broke people, dude. That sounds great that we can get out, though. <laughs> you can get out. It's just going to be a painful first two years of marriage, and it's going to bind you together, and you're going to have fought the dragon together, and you're going to be you're going to be locked in your relationship in a beautiful, wonderful way because of the strain that you are going to impose on yourselves. Otherwise, you're going to screw around with this huge Mount Everest of debt for a decade and mess up your life. Don't do that. Yeah. Get after it, man. Get after it. You can do that. You'll get a car later. There'll be a car waiting on the other side of this rainbow. There'll be a house waiting on the other side of this rainbow. There'll be a vacation waiting on the other side of this rainbow. Okay? So you, mm -hmm. you, you guys got good degrees. That's the good news. You didn't get a degree in left-handed puppetry, right? <laughs> no. You got marketable degrees where you can both make six figures fairly quickly mm -hmm. early in your career. And so that's the only, you know, so the bad news is you got a big hole. The good news is you're going to have a really nice shovel. Okay. And I'll okay. help you. I'm going to give you a Financial Peace University, our nine-week class and a one-year membership. I'm going to pay for the whole thing, give it to you as a wedding gift right now. The two of you start taking the class right now together, and let's start talking about this. Because I tell you what, you have a strain coming upon your marriage. You're either going to have the strain of this debt or the strain of paying off this debt that you two join hands and choose to fight the dragon together. Choose. Well, Dave. Choose. Choose the strain. Don't let it happen to you. Don't be a victim of the strain. So you can do this, man. You hold on, and we'll, uh, Kelly will pick up, and we'll get you signed up for Financial Peace University, and congratulations on your upcoming marriage. You can do this stuff. Dude, don't be one of these people you see on TV that, that have lost their brain. And they act waiting on Bernie to clean up their mess, okay? 
You go clean up your mess. You have a wonderful career in front of you, both of you. Use it to build a wonderful life, and and that's what I want for you. So, hey, hold on again. Kelly will pick up, and we'll get you guys signed up. Moms and dads, get Anthony O'Neill's book, Debt-Free Degree. Show your kids how to not do that. You owe your kids that. You don't have to have any money. You just have to care about your kids. You can, you can help your kids. Get debt-free degree and show them how to not do that. Wouldn't it be better if they came out with both of those degrees with no debt? They could have done it. I could have shown them how. But they're there now, and I can show them how to get out of debt, too. So we're going to help you wherever you are, boys and girls. That's who we are.